When I say bananas, you say peppers. And today we are doing one of my infamous what the hell is in this bag videos. It's a complete an amazing mystery to me, but you guys, I have a confession to make. I've sort of been bitten, I almost said bitten deeply. That sounds very disgusting. Please just pretend like you never heard that. I have been bitten a lot by like the pin and stationary bug ever since we've been doing those like magic popcorn pin testing videos. I, I don't know why I had so much fun doing those and filming those, but I kind of want to maybe start doing videos, maybe some for this channel, maybe some for my main channel, where we just like test out art supplies and various pins and stationary items. Hopefully you guys will find that interesting, but I find it interesting. So we're gonna do it. What this duffel bag is, is really kind of one of my big collections of various art supplies. I started putting this bag together a couple of years ago when I intended to start redoing Wreck-It Wednesdays. And generally to complete those prompts, they ask you to use all kinds of art mediums like um, watercolors and inks and paints and all of that. So I thought we would dive in and see what I have. Maybe it'll be new stuff. Maybe we'll find some fun things to try in here. I literally don't know. I don't remember. Let's find out what's inside. Also, you guys, today, two apologies. I'm sorry. I can't stop wearing this shirt. I don't know why. This is like my favorite shirt that I own right now. And every time I wear it, I wash it and then I want to wear it again. And also, I'm sorry for my sad bun. You guys, after I crimp my hair and then I wash it, it is just the saddest, flattest hair that I could ever possibly have. It is like the antithesis of when my hair is crimped. So I'm sorry. And also I'm not, this is just how I look. I don't know. Okay, uh, right on top, I see something that has nothing to do with art supplies, but boy, isn't it exciting and slightly concerningly dusty. It is a world's smallest care bear. And what bear is this? What is this bear? Help me. He has a, Sunday, like a milkshake on his tummy. You would think I would know, but I don't. Um, I was trying to get two purple Care Bears like this so that I could do my little mini sassy space buns and then garnish them with two miniature Care Bears. But you have to buy these like randomly on Amazon and it just says color assorted. So you don't get to pick. There's four on here. Well, actually, you know what? They've done two series now, so... I think there's other sets now that have like green and blah, 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 other colors. Um, ooh, yes. Okay, up next, that was the most obnoxious ooh I've ever done. Uh, we have these things. Why did I buy this? I don't know. See, I feel like this would be like a whole fun video to do on like stamps. But this is, it kind of reminds me of like a Mac face chart where it's got eyes and lips and all of that good stuff. But you can stamp a face. Fun! I don't know where I got this from, but I am excited. You know what, if I set all that stuff over there, I am never gonna find it again. Up next is a deluxe watercolor pan set, brand new, wrapped in plastique. I definitely got this to do Wreck It Thursdays. Up next is something, I don't remember where I got these from, but they are magical fake nails. Clearly I didn't just stop at art supplies. I just started shoving random stuff in this bag, which is why I have no organization. Um, up next is something that I actually bought. I must have bought this right at the beginning of the year and then shoved it in this bag and never did anything with it because you guys, I know I've mentioned this a million times. I have been wanting to get into Bujo aka bullet journaling. But once again, I am not very active right now. So I wanted to, you know, plan out my life and make habit trackers and all of this kind of stuff. But I'm just like basically not being as productive as I wish that I was. So I haven't started a bullet journal yet. But this one I think I found on Amazon and it looks so cool. And I think it's only around $10. This thing I sort of made as a set. I put this plastic cover on it. I believe the brand is Midori and this comes from Japan and it has this like vellum paper cover on it. 
and I liked that so much, but they also have this kind of like plastic cover that you can optionally slide over, which I thought was so cool because then I thought I could like create my own cover and then like put it in the cover cover. I don't know. Uh, so they come in lots of different paper versions. Like you can get um, dots, grids, lines, all of that stuff. And I got, I think this is considered grid. Yeah, looks a little bit more detailed than dotted. Uh, all right, up next. I don't know why I have this, but it's pretty exciting. It's a sponge roller, a brand new sealed sponge roller. What artistic purpose did I have for that? <laughs> uh, ooh, this is kind of one of my favorite things. Now I did use this on a past Wreck-It journal cover. I will insert a photo of that cover here. I feel like I've shown this to you guys a million times over the years because I am so proud of this little collage I made. Cut out a bunch of pictures I found on Tumblr that I really liked. I cut them out in these like hexagonal shapes and they were all in like shades of blue green and then I stitched all the shapes together with embroidery floss and it took me such a long time but it's a lot of fun and I kind of want to make another cover like that. This is gonna sound so not like me but I'm kind of into like pink colors lately so I think I was gonna maybe like try and do a pink one. Ooh, or I could do like a retro kind of themed one. Oh my god okay this is funny funny um I got this from a place in Austin that I talk about all the time I miss them so much you guys it's called Toy Joy and they have these super cute little notepads and well they're actually like miniature little notebooks but they have all kinds of, I mean, you guys, they have a million different themes, but this is meant to look like um, a moon passport. Ooh, and I guess it says uh, it was for the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11 moon landing. So, oh my God, I just rolled my eyes when I said moon landing. I, I think the moon landing is real. So don't, I, I'm not like, <laughs> earth is flat or like some weird stuff like that. But anyway, they have so many adorable, I forget what this brand is called, but if you look up these little like passport notebooks, they have ones for like Star Trek passport, Alice in Wonderland passport. I think they have one for Mars and I think I've even seen one for hell, a hell passport. For some reason I have a miniature foot in here. That is an odd thing to have in an art bag. Oh my God, you know what I was thinking I was intending on doing with this is, I think there was a page to like stamp stuff. So I was probably gonna try and do like, stick this in an ink pad and make miniature footsteps. <laughs> um, up next, I hope that this isn't, oh, this looks crusty and separated. I'm not sure if this is good anymore, you guys, but I have some Deco Art Americana Neon Lights Fluorescent Acrylic in Knockout Blue. And now it's kind of in the shade, uh, sad, separated blue. We might try and shake it up one day. I don't know. Uh, another thing that does not belong in here, I have Too Faced Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner. There's something about this product that both really intrigues and terrifies me because we all know I don't want glitter anywhere near my eye. It's like I love glitter. It's like I am a moth to the flame of glitter, you guys, because I love the way glitter looks, but I don't want it anywhere near my eyes. But I feel like that one felt a little safer to me because it sticks in eyeliner and then you just peel it off grotesquely. Up next is this, oh good, it's not an X-Acto knife. I'm like, is this an X-Acto knife? It is a water calligraphy pen. And I have never tried these and I bet there's a bunch, yeah, there's like a bunch of different sizes in here in my hair, my human hair, which has fallen out of my head. Uh, but yeah, there is a bunch of these little guys in here. I think they're, Oh my God, why is everything covered in my hair? As I was saying, a bunch of different sizes. Ooh, I don't know why this one has a fancy cap, but I like that. Why do I have so many of these? I literally don't even know how to use them yet. And uh, I think I have so many because I think I bought these on Amazon quite a while ago. And I think you literally just get like a buttload of them in one set. And I think I got like the cheapest ones because like I said, I want to use this stuff, but I don't know how to use this stuff. So I feel like I shouldn't buy the expensive stuff because I don't know how to use it. Up next, I've got, oh, what are these? You guys, I don't remember buying these, but 
I'm excited. I almost feel like this would make like a fun video to just test out this random stuff that I don't know what I'm doing. So this is from the brand called Spectrum Noir and these are two sparkle sets. So it's some kind of like one set is called sparkly overlay and so it's like crystal clear but it's like brush tip and then one looks like it has pink, purple, and blue like glitter. See, I don't, I can't tell if they're gonna be like markery, marker, mark, marker e. I don't think that's a word, or if they're gonna be more brush tip. Okay, you guys, this is, I feel like art supplies I don't deserve to own because I feel like these were a little bit pricier. And once again, I think I got these for Bujo intentions, but these are Tombow. I'm not saying that right. ABT, these are like the little Tombow. This is, this is the stuff that I see for real artists on Instagram and stuff. Um, I look at so many Bujo pages and I'm like, oh, I wish I could do hand lettering. Um, I think this is the whole set. I think I bought just like one set on Amazon and then just dumped them in here. So they're these kind of like, I think it was called like the, darker neon set or something because they are kind of like neon colors but I don't think they're like as bright see like I think this one is called like cherry red or something nope it's not called cherry red I literally just made that up it's called 755 they should have called it cherry red that's a much more appealing name and then I think this one is just one that I think like lightens up like kind of pastelifies like these sort of deeper colors if that makes any sense. I don't know any art terminology. I took like a couple drawing classes in college and um, I couldn't draw at all. Up next, these are called chameleons. I feel like these are too fancy for me too. This is the Cool Tone set and they look really awesome. <laughs> What are these? Should I make another video where we just unbox all these things and test out all these random art supplies? All right, you guys, I see some more crusty paint in here. Very exciting, I know. At least I only buy like the super, super cheap. I think that these paints are like 50 cents at Michael's or something. So I've got like some red twinkle, ooh, Christmas red twinkle, ho, ho, ho. And then of course, glow in the dark. Like <laughs> one of my favorite colors is glow in the dark. And uh, let's see what's next besides dry up crusty paint. Ooh, we have dried up crusty glue. This glue actually looks promising. I don't know why I have sparkly green glitter glue. For what purpose is this? For what can we use it now? Um, up next, I have rulers. I have this metal ruler. Once again, these were for Bujos. And then I've got a baby metal Bujo ruler. I suddenly forgot the word for ruler. And up next, I've got stamp ink pads. Once again, I think I got these specifically for um, Wreck-It Wednesday but probably also to stamp these facial features. Oh my God, I just had a like flashback. Do you guys remember those little things that were around in the 90s where they were like these fashion plates and you would have these three dimensional plates underneath and then you would take like a pencil or a crayon or whatever and you would make these like fashion plates and you could like mix them and match them. What happened to all that stuff? Did they just melt it down? Is it all? Unfortunately, in a landfill somewhere. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. It's sad. Mini hand. Look, I'm going to give you a high five. Reach for it. Reach for it. High five. Oh, yes. That is it. There is nothing else in this bag except for this. Whatever this is. Ew, it's one of those. Oh my God. That'll tell you how long I've had stuff shoved in this bag. Do you remember that weird like zits thing that we tested on Graveyard Girl? I think like three years ago now where they were like those fake sticker pimples that you stuck on your face and then popped them. Just looking back on that product, like why? Why was that made? Why? It's so gross. But there's nothing else in this bag except for uh, some random specks of trash. Ooh, there's one of these too. Even though he's quite hairy and dusty now, but it's like a little um, post-it note page marker. What do they call these? Tabs. That's what it is, tabs. 
So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. You guys, I love this bag. I forgot to even talk about this. This is kind of one of my favorite items I ever got from Yes Style, which is that K-Beauty, J-Beauty um, online shop I talk about so much, but 1990, 50%, just be yourself. What does that mean? I don't know, but I like it. The only way they could have improved this bag is if it was canvas. I don't know about you guys, but like nylon fabric, not my favorite. I like canvas fabric a lot better, probably because I love to just like shove buttons and all kinds of keychains on stuff. And I feel like you can't really poke holes in nylon. You can, but then if you ever take the pin or whatever out of the nylon, there's always gonna be like little puncture marks in your nylon, which just for whatever reason drives me crazy. Anyway, you guys, I could sit here and talk about puncture marks in nylon all day, but I'm gonna go drink this coffee instead. That's probably why I have so much energy at 5.30 in the morning. I think this is like my fourth cup of gigantic Yeti-sized coffee today. So that's it from me. Uh, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you all for hanging out with me today and for watching. I would love to hear, I'm now just doing the Macarena. Um, I would love to hear all of you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. Let me know how you feel about stationary stuff, testing out more art supplies. Are you here for it? Do you wish I wouldn't? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. And until I see you guys again, that was a harsh again. Uh, subscribe if you want. Become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And don't forget, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And uh, I will be back very soon. Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Too much energy. That's what I have.